This is News 8 at 530. Welcome back, everyone. Congressman Chris Collins was released on bail today after pleading not guilty to federal charges. He was arraigned just hours ago in Manhattan, along with his son and the father of his son's fiance. Prosecutors say Collins misused confidential information he obtained as a board member of a drug company called Innate Immunotherapeutics. Collins allegedly tipped off his son about a failed drug trial before the results were made public. His son Cameron sold. Cameron's fiance sold. The father of the fiance, Zarsky, sold. Mr. Zarsky's wife sold. Other friends and relatives sold. And be all because Congressman Collins violated his duty to keep Innate's information secret. To be clear, prosecutors say Collins himself took a $17 million hit when the stocks fell. But as majority shareholder, there are strict rules about what he can sell. Selena Lewis talked to lawyers about the implications of these tipping allegations. Financial experts like George Conboy show how Innate Immunotherapeutics Limited stock plummeted after negative drug trial results came out in 2017. Cameron uh, Collins and his uh, group of friends sold their stock in here. It dropped to here. What he's accused of doing is something called tipping. And that is when you don't trade yourself, but you go out and you tell somebody else that either something good or something bad is going to happen. And that allows them to either make money or at least not lose money. These tips, prosecutors say, saved Collins' son and others a total of about $700,000 before the drug trial results became public and the stock crashed. The reason we have these laws is because things like that can lead people to lose faith in the stock market because people are going to say, well, the market's rigged. You have these people walking around who have this insider information, they're trading on it. What chance do I have because I don't have the same advantage? Convoy says crimes like this are hard to get away with because they leave a clear trail. What they did was foolish because securities regulators can easily track who bought or sold the stock and when. So again, to be clear, the charges that Collins faces are for tipping off his son and others about material non-public information using his position as a board member of Innate. The fact that he did not profit himself or avoid losses himself is irrelevant. Maureen. All right, Selena, thank you. Collins will hold a news conference at 6.30 this evening to respond to the allegations. That news conference will take place in Buffalo, and we will live stream it on rochesterfirst.com.